In this video, I will go through how you create the folders, how you give permission to that folders, to the groups that we have already created. So first of all, by creating the groups, uh, the folders is very simple. You click on the plus and you create a folder. So this could be a folder for the STU team, for example. Then I will create another folder um, that is called, for example, garden farming. So I have now created two folders and now I want to define who should have access to them. First of all, STU team, I'll click one back again. STU team, <clears throat> I want to share, so all the teachers are able to save materials in there, but the students should only be able to see the content. So that's what we're going to do now. We click on the share. I add, uh, I type, for example, STU, and I will see the options that I can share. So I want to add the student, and I want to add the teachers. As you can see, they are now added to the list. Teachers should be able to do everything, but the students should not be able to reshare, not be able to delete, not be able to create, and not be able to edit. So they can basically just see the content of the folder. That's how you share it with them. At any point, you can change this or you can click on unshare. This is how you give permission to a folder. You can also give a permission to a single user. For example, if I now write headmaster, I can click on him because I would actually like him to have access to this folder as well, but not everybody else in administration. So this is how you on every single folder can add access to users and groups. Now, the other form uh, folder I have is garden farming. So uh, this folder I will also share and uh, I will, for example, give... Um, so I will, of course, give uh, permission to the folder that is called, uh, or to the security group called garden farming. So everybody who is member of this group will also get access to this folder. Uh, those who are member of this folder should also be allowed to edit. But then you think, okay, but it's also good that the teachers should see what's in this folder because it might be some good material for them. So in this sense, you can uh, add STU teacher and you can day school teacher. Uh, but you don't want the teachers to uh, do any editing on the material, but the teacher should only be able to see what's in the folder. So then you take away those permissions for them. So that's you done. The garden farming group, they can see, edit, add material. The teachers, they can see the folder, but they cannot delete or add content to that folder. So that's how you deal with the permission uh, of, uh, of each of the folders. So your task now is to create all the different folders, give the correct permission to the correct folders, so your whole organization can start to use this. Uh, what happens as well is that when you do something that affects a user, they will also get a mail and it will tell them exactly what has happened. So in this case, this user have got access to this team and they get also a link so they can go in and they can see the files there. So yes, hope this was useful. Create all the groups now and uh, then in the next video, we will come back to how you in how you use it in practice, and uh, we will talk about the the program, uh, that the app that you can download to your PC, and we will also talk about the app that you can install on your phone, so you always have access to all the files.